Okay, so today we're doing a brand new update, guys, for Retro Bat in Techno Parrot. So the last time I uploaded a guys for Retro Bat in Techno Parrot was actually going back to February 2024. So of course, Retro Bat as well as Techno Parrot has had many updates since, and things have slightly changed how to install this. So what we're going to need to do this is some games, and we're also going to need to download the Techno Parrot emulator. So let's start. What we're going to do first of all then is just download download the emulator itself so it's technoparrot.com now a lot of people's argued that this website isn't reachable as you can see i've got open just here this is technoparrot.com all we need to do is just go to download and what we're going to do here is download the tb bootstrapper web in store for technoparrot if we just click on this one and there we go that's now downloaded and this is what we've got inside of here what we're going to do next then is go into the Retrobat directory. We're going to right click on the Retrobat shortcut on the desktop, open file location. We're going to go to emulators and under emulators, we're going to find Techno Parrot. Okay, so here's Techno Parrot and as we can see inside, we've got nothing here. So what I'm going to do is keep all this emulator or Techno Parrot emulator stuff all together. So that TP bootstrapper.zip, I'm going to drag and drop those contents into that Retrobat emulators Techno Parrot folder. Okay, so what we're going to do next then is double left click on TP bootstrapper.exe. And if you get a little window come up saying, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Just press yes. So here we go. This is the start of Techno Parrot. So what we need to do is go to browse. And what we're going to do is point this in the direction of that Techno Parrot inside of the Retrobat emulators folder. So we're going to scroll down inside of Retrobat emulators until we find Techno Parrot. Here we go. So left click on Techno Parrot just so it's highlighted. Select folder. And what we're going to do next then is go to full install. And we're going to find everything is now beginning to install. And if we look in the background, we can see inside of that empty folder, things are beginning to now populate. And that's good. That's what we need. Okay, so everything is now done. We're going to press OK. Seems like this is the first time you're running Techno Parrot. OK. And we're going to press OK again. And we've got a few pages to accept here. So accept, 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 accept. Okay, you have no game set up. Do you want to add one now? So I'm going to press no for this. And what we're going to do next is close this down and press yes. Now what we need to do next is put our games inside a retro map. So we're going to come out of the emulators techno parrot folder. And we're going to go to the ROMs folder and we're going to find Techno Parrot here. If we scroll down, Techno Parrot, and I'm going to drag and drop both of my games inside of that Retrobat ROMs Techno Parrot folder. Okay, so my games are now placed inside of that Retrobat ROMs Techno Parrot folder, but we actually need to rename these folders. So, what I'm going to do is rename these. So, if I right click on, say, Dirty Driving, I'm going to go to Show More Options, Rename, and what I'm going to do is type in .game. We can also use .parrot, but I'm going to use .game for this. So, again, Show More Options, Rename, and I'm going to put .game. Okay, so that's cool. So inside of each one of my games folders, we've got all the relevant files that we need. Everything's looking cool. So we're going to go back into that Techno Parrot emulator. So to find this, again, just go to Retrobat Shortcut, Open File Location, Emulators, and we're going to scroll down again until we find Techno Parrot. Techno Parrot, and we're going to open up Techno Parrot. By just scrolling down and this time technoparrotui.exe double left click you have no game set up do you want to add one now so for this i'm going to press yes this time round okay now as we can see we got lots of games listed just here but i'm looking for my game so i've got raiden iv and i've also got dirty driving so i'm going to just scroll this down and first of all look for dirty driving here's dirty driving and if I just then go to add game, I'm going to go down to game settings. 
Now, at the top just here, it's going to say find executable. So what I need to do is left click here in this space. And I'm now going to go into my Retrobat ROM spoiler and look for my dirty driving game. So in my case, I'm going to go to C drive. And if I scroll down, I should find Retrobat. I'm going to go into my ROM folder and I'm going to scroll down and obviously look for that Techno Parrot folder. Here is my Techno Parrot folder and I'm now going to go into my Dirty Driving Dot Game folder. And as we can see just here, I've now got the SDAEMON.exe, which is what it's asking for. As we can see, SDAEMON.exe. So what I'm going to do is double left click this. And as we can see, that's now been mounted inside of the Techno Power Up UI or user interface. Okay, so what we're going to do next then is go to Save Settings. And I'm going to add my next game as well. So, of course, we've also got Raiden IV. So, to add the game, what we're going to do is just go up to the top left of Techno Power Up. We're going to go down to Add Game. And I'm going to look for my Raiden IV game. So, again, drag down. And here we go. Raiden IV. Add Game. And I'm going to go to Game Settings. And I'm going to just left click on this empty space here. And this game is saying look for the game.exe. So left click. And what I'm going to do is again go into my Retrobat ROMs folder. And I'm going to scroll down until I find Techno Power Up once more. Techno Power Up, Raiden IV. And here is that executable what Techno Power Up is looking for. Double left click, save settings. Okay, and as we can see at the top, it says update available. So we do need to update Techno Power every now and again. If I left click here and go to install updates, I'm going to leave everything checked here and just simply go down to update. So what we're going to do next then is close out of Techno Power and what we're going to do is open up Retrobat. Okay, so we're inside a retro bat and here's Techno Parrot if we just go inside and here's my game. So I'm going to open up, say, Dirty Driving. Now, as we can see, it's now beginning to boot my Dirty Driving game. Okay, and that's working just fine. So Retrobat is automatically configured to my controller to work. I'm using an Xbox controller for dirty driving and it's working just fine. So we've also got Raiden IV. So again, I'm using my Xbox controller to control this. If I just open the game. And that's working just fine too. So I'm going to download some artwork, main menu, scraper, and I'm going to go to scrape now. Okay, game settings, and we're going to update game list. Yes, and here we go. Brilliant stuff. So if I just close that a retro back, 
Okay, now just want to say that not every game for Techno Parrot is going to run perfectly. So I always recommend checking out the compatibility list just here. And we're going to find what works and what doesn't work. So for example, we got a blue tick here next to the game, a last, which means this game works perfectly with Techno Parrot. We've also got green ticks just here, so it works fine, but it might have a few bugs in there, a few flaws. But Techno Parrot has been improved on all the time. And that's it for today's Retro Bat and Techno Parrot guide. So it's a good job I did actually upload a guide because several things have actually changed in use in Techno Parrot inside a Retro Bat. So, firstly, nowadays it automatically configures the controllers for you. And secondly, back in the old days, or maybe just over a year ago, we had to actually edit .xml files in order for games to run through Retro Bat. So, without a doubt, nowadays it's a lot easier than what it was just over a year ago when I last uploaded a guide for Retrobat and Techno Parrot. Anyways, if you're new to my channel and you're looking for a particular guide, do check out my previous Retrobat guides. I've done a lot in the past and my channel became somewhat of a Retrobat channel for a while. Um, not that it ever was an official Retrobat channel, but I think people actually assumed where I did so much for Retrobat back then. Anyways, if you liked today's video, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. Anyways, again, thanks for watching, and until next time, stay retro.